What contribution do you see from the African continent in terms of global manufacturing horsepower? Oh, manufacturing? None, none, very little. Uh, Africa's a series of stacked plateaus, so just getting the infrastructure in there to access anything is very difficult. And while they do have very high birth rates and a more stable population structure, a lot of that is only possible because they export raw commodities and then import the things that allow them to have a degree of modernity. If you break down global supply chains, a lot of that goes away. And so I think a lot of Africa is going to devolve. And they just don't have the infrastructure or the skilled labor uh, that's necessary to participate at scale. And even if they did, in a more or in a less robust security environment, the connections necessary to make that happen are going to be very thin. So I think it's far more likely that the North American manufacturing system will start incorporating pieces of South America. We already have free trade deals with Colombia and Chile, for example. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid that Africa really can't be part of that. Now, we might see pieces of Africa following the Indian model. I can see Nigeria becoming broadly self-sufficient. I can see a partial reboot of South Africa, but that's for their own domestic markets rather than any sort of international connection.